In this chapter, we are going to learn about the basics of foreign exchange. Let's have a look at the three fundamentals of foreign exchange. Everyone knows that the foreign exchange deals with the exchange of currencies of different countries. It is clearly explained by these fundamentals. The first fundamental states that every country has its own currency and it will definitely pass to other countries by means of trade, investments, etc. The second mentions about the intermediaries in both the countries, mainly the financial institutions with clear bookkeeping through which the exchange takes place. The third deals with the credit instruments such as promissory note, bills of exchange, etc. by which the exchanges are being made. Now, let's see how an exchange deal is being quoted. There are two ways to quote, direct quote and indirect quote. In direct quote, the quote is made in terms of home currency, that is how much home currency price is required for one unit of foreign currency. For instance, for an Indian personnel, 65 units of home currency is required for one unit of American dollar. The indirect quote is made in terms of foreign currency, that is, how much foreign currency price is required for one unit of home currency. So, for same Indian, 0 0.015 foreign currency is required for one rupee. From this, it is very clear that these quotes are inversely proportional to each other. Now, let's see some basic terms in Forex. Cross rate. It implies that the currency rate of A in terms of C can be derived if A in terms of B and B in terms of C is known. It is done by cross multiplication of these two known rates. Chain rule. If the cross multiplication happens for more than two rates, then it is said to be in chain. Value date. It represents the date when the settlement actually takes place. It may be spot, term, cash or ready, etc. Let's see the different value dates. If the settlement of funds is done on the same date of deal, then it is called cash or ready. That is, if deal is made on 1st June, then the settlement will also be on 1st June only. If settlement happens tomorrow only, that is, the next working day of date of deal, then it is known as TOM. So, for the same deal, settlement will be on 2nd June, provided it is a working day. Otherwise, the settlement takes place on next working day. In spot, the settlement takes place only on the 2nd working day of the date of deal. Hence, the settlement will be on the 3rd June only. And if the settlement happens any day after the spot, then it is called forward. So, in forward, the settlement happens after 3rd of June. In forward, since the settlement takes place after a few days from spot, certainly there will be a difference in forward and spot rates. This rate differential is known as either premium or discount. In forward, if the currency becomes costlier, it is premium and if currency becomes cheaper, it is called discount. The premium will be added to the buying and selling rates of that currency and the discount will be deducted from the currency rates. Hence, the forward rate can be represented as either spot rate plus premium or spot rate minus discount. For example, if in a spot, $1 equals 64.5 rupees and 2 months forward, $1 becomes 64.8 rupees, then the rate differential between spot and forward is 30 paise. And in forward, it becomes costlier by this 30 paise. This differential can be calculated by using the formula spot rate into interest rate differential into forward period divided by 100 into number of days in the year. This forward differential value 
it is also termed as swap rate. If the premium or discount is expressed in percentage points, then it is called forward points. That is, 0 0.0250 premium can be expressed as 250 premium points. Let's see an example to find out the forward points for spot rate of 2, interest rate differential at 4% per annum and forward period of 90 days. So, as per formula, we get forward differential as 2 into 4 into 90 divided by 100 into 365, which is 0 0.0197. It is the rate differential between spot and forward. 